Lonely widower tried to find love again with a mail order bride. But what happened to this local man just days after he said, I do, was anything but love. Now, the mess that he is in is so big that Homeland Security is involved, and they say he is just one of thousands of people in the same boat. Tonight, new at 6, they get Marty with a whirlwind romance that ended in mail order misery. This is 24 year old Valentina Leba. According to her Facebook page, that's her name. However, she also uses the name Saida Lahachi on divorce documents she signed recently. We believe we know her age, 24. We believe we know she's now living in Tangiers, Morocco, after a volatile 14 day marriage to 69 year old Jerry Mensel. I need some help here. I says, uh, I made a huge mistake. I got the email from Jerry a month ago. I'm writing as I don't know where else to go to get someone to listen. I brought a young woman here from Morocco and married her. Five days later, I filed for a divorce as all she wanted was my money. I'm mad at myself. I look in the mirror and say, hey, why'd you do this? You see, Jerry was a lifer, married 43 years to his wife, Barbara. Pancreatic cancer took her life. Jerry was devastated. I made a mistake. I made a big mistake. Desperately lonely, Jerry found his way here to rosebride.com, a mail order bride site promising your true love could be waiting. Join us today. It's where Jerry found 24 year old Saida. The site explains the vast age difference. Foreign women tend to be more mature. You were lonely. Yeah, that's it. That's all I look You were looking for a companion. Right. Within a few months, Jerry was in Tangiers, Morocco. He brought Saida back here to Apollo with him. There was talk of marriage, but first, there was a high dollar check sent overseas described as a dowry. 32000 With $32,000 in place, they got married. This is their wedding day. The picture taken shortly after a visit to the JP. Jerry says the marriage deteriorated rapidly. I had two apartments here. Within a few days, the couple separated. Jerry moved his wife into this apartment. She made her way around town to Station Square, to the Monroeville Mall, but they never clicked. Jerry convinced she wanted his money and her freedom. I could uh, show her a better life. And she said, I'm a Moroccan. I don't want to be an American. She wanted a green card. Jerry filed for divorce, says he desperately wanted out. Signed this settlement agreement to pay her thousands and thousands of dollars. This recent check for nearly $6,000. A year's worth of checks for more than $1,200 per month. At 68, you don't need to learn lessons like that. That's when we got involved. Now the feds are involved. This one would be almost like a marriage fraud type thing, but with a financial angle to it. Federal Homeland Security agents say it looks like Jerry was scammed, that he's one of thousands getting ripped off in online dating scams each year. In fact, the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center received nearly 6,000 complaints from victims of romance scammers last year, reporting losses of more than $50 million. Federal agents believe the actual number is much higher. For some of these people, it's, it's their life savings. The average victim can be taken for around $70,000. I reached out to Saida or Valentina. We aren't certain of which is her real name. I asked her about Jerry before she hung up on me from a phone in Tangiers, Morocco. She said, Jerry was my husband. He was not good to me. I don't know what's wrong with him. When I asked her about the nearly $100,000 Jerry spent so far, she said, the money was my gift for the marriage. It is outlandish. Jerry is fed up, out nearly $100,000, now battling cancer. He understands folks are calling him an old fool. There'll be guys that say that old timer should have stayed away from that young girl. Yeah, yes, there are. And I agree. He's right there, right there. <laughs> There's your lesson. <laughs> well, Jerry is struggling right now, he's battling cancer. He's out nearly $100,000, and admittedly, he believes he looks foolish. He did this television story, so this won't happen to others. That's simple. He has little hope of ever seeing a nickel of his money. Tough deal. It's Real tough. 6,000 cases just last year, $50 million. It's unbelievable. This, this is quite a scam. It's unbelievable. Can they, can they prosecute this? Well, the feds are on this. In fact, the checks were actually sent to London, and they have agents in London who will actively pursue this. So... Will this come to fruition in terms of charges? We'll have to wait and see. Will he ever get any money back? Highly, highly unlikely. Wow. So bad. Real bad for him.
All right, Marty, thanks so much. Well, hey, if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to getmarty at kdka.com or give us a call, 412-575-2244.